Mechanism offers quite a few different ways to transport energy, items and other things, as well as store those things. And that is what we are going to be looking at now. So Mechanism actually has four variants of everything. You have a basic, an advanced, an elite and an ultimate version of each item. Here we have universal cables. These cover electricity. We have mechanical pipes, which will cover fluids. We have pressurized for gases. We have logistical for items and thermodynamic for heat transportation. And again, each one comes in a basic, advanced, elite and, for, and ultimate version. We have the same thing with energy. So this is energy cubes, and this is how we store energy. Again, basic, advanced, elite, and ultimate. Let's take a quick look at our um, cables here. So if you want to make a basic universal cable, if I press R in JEI, you can see it quite simply needs two steel ingots and some redstone dust. Now, the question then is, how do we make steel? Well, I'm going to show you that in just a moment. We also have basic mechanical, etc. If I just put in basic, you can see there's lots of different items here. You can see for mechanical, it's steel with a bucket. For the pressurized, it's with glass. Logistical is with a basic control circuit, which is made in the metallurgic infuser. And thermodynamic is with copper. So they all need steel to make these, these basic ones at least. Well, if I run over to here in my tutorial laboratory, we have two metallurgic infusers and an energized smelter. And this is how we're going to make steel. So in the metallurgic infuser, I can put in here carbon from coal. So if you put into the yellow slot, the resource slot of a metallurgic infuser, coal, you get carbon. I then want to get my iron ingots. And I'm just going to push these through here. I'm actually going to speed this up. I'm lazy. You can see here, it's then being turned into enriched iron. If you make another metallurgic infuser and again put carbon in here, that will turn the enriched iron into steel dust. Push this into an energized smelter and voila, you've got your steel ingots. If we want to look at how to make advanced, elite and ultimate, it's on the top fairly simple. For advanced, you're going to need eight of the basic ones and an infused alloy, which again is redstone in a metallurgic infuser with iron. So you're infusing iron with redstone. For elite, you're going to need eight advanced with a reinforced alloy, where you're then going to infuse your infused alloy, which you've just made, with diamond. And for ultimate, it's the same again, but with an atomic alloy, where you're going to put refined obsidian in, to then infuse that reinforced alloy that you've also just made. And that's how we work up the steps. And it's pretty much the same thing when it comes to anything that you're upgrading. You can see here we're using um, more atomic alloys and an elite energy cube, an advanced one. And it, it's the same process um, through these recipes. So a basic energy cube stores 1.6 million, 6.4, 25, and 102. We also have the same for storing not just energy, but gases and also liquids. Here we have a basic chemical tank, an advanced, an elite, an ultimate. And we have a basic, advanced, elite, and ultimate fluid tank as well. And the recipes will follow the exact same premise as these did. And that is how we're going to move energy, liquids, gases, items, and... Um, heat around as well as store energy chemicals and liquids or gases sorry not chemicals 